Let's talk about this trend that is being championed by mainstream Dems that is actually a threat to the progressive movement. I saw this on the news earlier today. San Diego Republican Assemblyman Brian Meinstein switches parties and joins Democrats. So on the surface, that sounds like good news, right? A Democrat, uh, he be, uh, a Republican switched to being a Democrat. That sounds like a great thing. Great. Okay. Uh, the the rep for the studio where I'm at right now is Harley Ruda. Hardy Ruda was a Republican even through 2016. He was a donor to the Republican Party. And he switched to Democrat and won and beat Dana Rohrabacher. So, all right, great. We've got another blue seat in the House. But do we? Are these people really Democrats? Not really. You know, they're Republicans who just socially don't agree with what's going on with the current Republican leadership. So, you know, Brian Meinchain, one thing that he cited is he said, quote, Donald Trump has led the Republican Party to the extreme on issues that divide our country. But this leadership is not the only reason for my change in party affiliation. I, too, have changed. He went on to cite a number of things where he feels like he shifted to the left, which is gun control, immigration, abortion and LGBTQ rights. So the social issues. But how do we think this guy is going to vote fiscally? If he's been a Republican this whole time, how is he going to vote when it comes to fiscal issues? Well, he's going to be like a third way Democrat. He's going to be like a Bill Clinton or an Obama in a lot of ways or uh, Beto O'Rourke, which I know a lot of people are wondering about that guy. And he's a third way Democrat. What's a third way Democrat? Well, you could look it up. But uh, a third way Democrat is somebody who is socially more liberal. So they try to get the Democrats in to the vote because they're socially trying to appeal to the liberal sense of Democrats. But fiscally, they're Republicans and they try to appeal to the Republican base by being uh, more about corporations and big business and low taxes and and, uh, you know, reining in on social programs and taking care of the corporation and the big business and the big money before they take care of the people. So that's a third way Democrat, which was started by Bill Clinton. And uh, or they call them new Democrats. And it turns out Obama was a new Democrat, which I learned that today. You can actually look that up on Wikipedia. I didn't realize now I knew the guy was fiscally moderate. I didn't realize he actually had proclaimed it. I didn't realize that he actually stood in a meeting with the third way Democrats and said, yeah, I'm one of you. I, I did not know that that happened back in 2009. So then I just don't know how surprised we can all be that he was very fiscally like a Republican in so many ways. So there's that. Um, You know, so obviously this is a threat to the progressive movement because when you get all of these Republicans who defect to the Democrat Party, so they really think that the only difference between a Democrat and a Republican are the social issues. Do you see how that's a problem? I think it's great that they're standing up for what they believe in, that they're standing up and saying, I don't agree with all this bigotry and xenophobia and hatred. I don't agree with it. But I really wish that these Republicans, in some ways, I wish that they would just stand up and say that to the Republicans and say, yeah, I'm a Republican, but I don't believe in this crap and take the Republican Party back because it has just gone off the deep end. I mean, it has just gone off the deep end. So it would be nice if these Republicans, there's another article here about all these, you know, because Brian Meinchin is not the first and he's certainly not going to be the last. There have been plenty of Republicans who've defected to the Democratic Party. But you got to wonder, all of these mainstream Dems are championing this, saying, yeah, all right, we got another one, we got another one. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You got a Republican who is going to vote like a Republican, except on social issues. So if you want things like Medicare for all, if you want things like universal education, if you want things like uh, like uh, maternity leave and paternity leave and nursery care for your kids and higher living wages, these people are not going to vote for those things. They're going to say, you know what, let's just be pragmatic. Let's just kind of take a look. And mm, my uh, let me check with my donors. Hold on real quick. Mm, okay, no, we're not for that. Okay, no, we're not. That it, it, it doesn't make sense financially. So no, we, we can't. We can't do that. But I'm all for gay marriage, and I'm all for trans rights, and I'm all for, uh, you know, some common sense gun laws. Yeah, so is the rest of the country. That's the thing, is that Congress has moved to the right. Republicans have moved to the far right and Democrats have moved to the right. There is no more. uh, There is no longer a left group really in Congress. Now, America is 
largely in agreement on a lot of these issues. A lot of America is on agreement to common sense gun regulation, background checks, and uh, upping the age. I mean, this is stuff that most Americans, Republican and Democrat, are on board with. That is considered a centrist idea. Gay marriage is a centrist idea now. I mean, this is something that the majority of people say, it's none of my business. Whatever you want to do, it's none of my business. That's a centrist idea. So, you know, so many of the so many of these issues are really more center. And the fact that these Republicans feel like they can just defect to the Democratic Party really shows that. So this is obviously a problem for the progressive movement, because the more of these Republicans that we get in switching to Democrat, the harder it's going to be to push for real change because they're just. You know, Republicans in blue clothes. That's all that they are. They're just saying, yeah, I'm a Republican, but I'm not a bigot. So that's why I'm now a Democrat. So this is a problem. This is a problem. It's good, like I said, um, because we want these things. We want this change, of course, to happen. But this is stuff that the Republican Party should adopt. And the differences between the two parties should be fiscal. That is really largely what they should be. But they know, Republicans know, that they can't win on fiscal issues all the time. And so they've taken on this moral right-wing group of people that are just viscerally against, I mean, all of these things that are just so common sense and taking big money from NRA and all of this. And so this is a, a real problem for the progressive movement. As much as many people are championing saying, all right, we got another one. We didn't get another one. Yeah, we got another moderate Republican claiming to be a Democrat. That's what we got. Great.